Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mbali Murage. I really do hope you love it here and decide to be part of the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back love. So today we are doing a story time and my story time is about a friendship, right? So um, yeah, I never really thought I'd talk about this, but I feel like I should, you know, I feel like I should. you know what i'm not really good with like storytelling but i am going to try my utmost best so please bear with me um so okay fine so i'm just gonna take this from like way way back where it started how it started how it ended and everything right okay so i had a friend right um this friend and I, we lived in the same hood. Yeah, well, we lived in the same hood. We went to the same primary school. We actually met when we were in grade seven. Yeah, well, and we were both prefects at um, the primary school we went to, right? So we started just being friends from there because every time um, I'd go to school in the mornings, I used to meet her on the way and we'd just walk together. Yeah, well, and it just started like that. And that was like the beginning of our friendship. We used to walk together to school. Yeah, Bob? And then, then it was the following year and we went to the same high school and we were also in the same class, but um, we had different friends. She had her own friends at school and I also had uh, my own friends at at school. So, Nje, I liked that about our friendship dynamic was that um, we weren't in each other's faces and we gave each other space when needed you see so i really really just loved that about our friendship so now fast forward to us being in matric okay now fast forward to us being in matric and that's like how many years we've been friends let's see grade 8 9 10 11 12 that's five years five years of friendship right so um i told her i have a crush on this other guy and she was acquainted with this guy so they used to talk like on a regular and stuff like that so i had a crush on this guy and i told her i have a crush on this guy you know and she was like ah, don't worry i'm gonna talk to him for you and stuff like that and she did that she did that i was grateful but you know one thing about crushes like crushes should just remain crushes and nothing more than that because I actually found that the guy wasn't interesting you know so yeah it was fine but what she did is that she got on with the guy now and i was like and then what's a guan and i was just like you know what it's fine let it slide buddy because now it's not like you dated the guy or you liked the guy or you guys had anything serious so just I just let it slide because I mean you know it wasn't anything serious between me and the crush guy and even with her they think just it wasn't also serious and it didn't last long so it was fine I let it slide it was fine we moved past it okay Fine. Right, now time goes on right and we matriculated we finished school she went to tertiary I didn't go to tertiary I worked a ball and then okay our friendship was still solid it was still a solid friendship we met up when we could and we just understood that we are in different paths now she was in tertiary so she, she had like other friends also in tertiary i was working and i had my old <laughs> old friends there at work so we understood but we still maintained the friendship sharp now okay we are grown now and we are starting to go out to consume alcohol and stuff and my friend could not take alcohol like she could not take alcohol whenever she drank alcohol she became someone different like she just became weird it's either she'd start crying because of it's like she just became something something else when she drinks 
And then I used to be worried, you know, like, okay, whenever we go out and we drink and stuff, I have to, eventually I'll have to stop drinking and stop having fun and take care of her. You understand? I didn't mind taking care of her because she was my friend. But I was also worried that if, whenever I'm not there and she goes out, who takes care of her? What happens to her? And you know, guys, we live in dangerous times. We live in a, in a dangerous world. Some people are not, like, some people don't always have good intentions. So I was concerned about that. I was really really concerned and then fast forward to the following year that's like um, our seventh year into the friendship and I went back to school so I started tertiary I was doing my first year she was doing her second year but we were in different schools this time okay so I met people at tertiary and obviously we developed uh, friendships you know and then fine so there was this one time um, we decided to go out well this one saturday and i invited her along to come with me so it wasn't supposed to be a night out actually it was supposed to just be a small braai and then after we head back home but because you know how these kind of things end like it was never just a small thing and then the night ended no we decided to go is to a second location which was um we went to ebumnandin so we got there and obviously we indulged in alcohol we had fun so before we even went to a second location my friend was already acting up she was throwing herself on the floor crying that she has issues you know life is tough and stuff like that. i was really contemplating if this second location was a good idea but we managed to calm her down and then she was fine and then we decided okay she's fine Let, let's go ahead with our second location idea and we did just that don't get me wrong i do not slut shame or anything like that like that's a disclaimer i do not slut shame but when we got there she moved from one friend to another and now it was just causing a big rife because it was like okay uh, you know ish i was and i was also caught in the middle because i'm the one that brought her here you know and these people are my friends these are my people these are people that i see on a daily when i go to school you know and ish so it was just Jay, a thing of okay can you see this person that you brought here is moving from one friend to the other and also she's she'll she'll make us fight she'll make us fight amongst each other because now it's like okay now this friend is still this one's girl and you know they're kind of back and forth thing so and one thing about me guys i do not like drama i don't like drama i stay far away from drama i don't want drama to follow me i try by all means not to have drama in my life because i cannot stand drama so now that was like a ache for me like ish i was not happy about that and like those are one of the things that i didn't like about her when she drank and the following day when you tell her what's what happened she would be so shocked to see that kind of thing happen and it's 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 alarming it's alarming okay cool so um they sorted they they things out and things were fine and then it became a regular thing that we go out together and we have fun yeah well okay so this one time um we were supposed to have fun and she told me that uh she got in trouble with her mom her mom doesn't want um her to go out and stuff like that you know and i was like okay you don't have to stay out it's fine yeah well she's like yeah i won't i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna chill a little bit and then go back home okay cool that was fine well back track my parents in fact didn't like this friend of mine like from way back because the time we were growing up, they used to see her with, like, a lot of guys. And you know how parents are when they see a certain friend of yours with boys. And it's like, yeah, you're fall pregnant. In, in, in. You know, those type of things. So my parents didn't like her to begin with. Yeah, but. I get, um, so that day, my phone was, my battery was low. Yeah, well, so I couldn't, so and it switched off. So I couldn't have calls coming in or out. Cool. She, she switched off her phone. To prevent her mom from calling her 
okay cool we went out we had the best time of our lives like that night was so awesome it was so great and the next day we go back home very sharp when i get home i find my bags packed for me at the door and i'm just shocked what's going on so i asked my my brother like what's going on and he's like oh you're in trouble and i got so scared but then i walked in and i got like the biggest shouting of my life the biggest shouting of my life yo you won't believe what happened yes just let me go get something to drink because i need a drink for this one i don't know why i didn't buy a beverage for this sit down oh my gosh regrets sorrows sorrows prayers prayers <sighs> okay anyways um so my parents weren't supportive of my friendship with the girl because of you know the things they've seen her do and stuff like that but that didn't matter to me because i loved her regardless so jay the fact that she did this was like Yo, it was a deal breaker and with me i have a really open relationship with my parents so they knew where i went all the time when if if ever i told uh, if, if ever i tell them that i'm not coming back home i'm gonna sleep out then i told them it's not like i just did some disappearing acts so till this day i have a very open relationship with my parents so they knew where i was I say, so then my parents tell me that this girl's mom went to my house to go cause drama there. She went there, she made noise, and she was on about like, I'm turning her daughter into a drunkard, someone that doesn't sleep at home and stuff like that. And I'm like, really? I did all of that. Like, you already know your daughter, Mutonjani. Like, she, 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 she had her problems. You know, there was a time where... She went missing for a whole week and Gantiana Bega saying that when Zaka. So are you telling me I'm the one that told her to do all those things? Like, hello, hello? No, no, that can't be. So my parents were angry at the fact that why am I still friends with this girl and this woman caused drama? My parents do not like drama. They do not like into his snacksy. They don't like those type of things. So that just drove. Okay, so like they, my parents were not happy about. So they were pissed. They were really pissed. Okay, fine. And I think that day I took a decision that I'm not going to go out anymore. Like I'm not gonna go out anymore. So it was around july it was like yeah end of july so i really did stop going out and then but i didn't stop being friends with her because guys i really loved this girl so like you couldn't tell me otherwise like i loved this girl so she, i couldn't stop being friends with her so i was friends we were friends secretly i went okay fast forward december came and um i rekindled things with my my husband he was my boyfriend then but uh, he's my husband now. So we fixed things. Like I'll tell you one day. Maybe I'll also do a story time of how I met my husband. But we rekindled things. Okay. And then so okay fine. Um, I missed my friend. It was December and I hadn't seen her for so long. So and then there was this one time my boyfriend said. Um, my husband then. But I'm just going to say my boyfriend. Um. So we were we were going to link up with my a boyfriend and then i tagged my friend along yeah, well, okay and then uh my my husband came with his friend well, he came with his friend so okay the guys were sitting in front and then we were sitting at the back so we went they came to fetch us and then we, we went past soweto to go buy um uh food and alcohol and then we were going to head back to my boyfriend's place okay and then okay we drove there and we're just catching up it was fun it was really nice and then this girl said something shocking and i just almost gave her a smack guys um went out of the car we stayed in the car they went out to go buy alcohol ne? sharp and she said um your man is a snack i would do him anytime anyway and i was like don't bazaar 
Whether she take the liver to even say like whether she take the audacity, it's me in the essence gaga or start up like I was like you know that was like the very first red flag for me. I was like, you know what, this girl and and prior to that guys, all those red flags to me they were just pink. They were pink. I was seeing pink flags, not red flags. So ish. This was like you know, it was kind of a wake-up call, you know, for me that, you know, you need to start being honest about this girl. You need to start being honest. Is she, does she have good intentions for you? Like, is she good for you? You know? And what she said was still at the back of my mind because I was like, in my lifetime, I have not found any, like never ever found any of my friends guys attractive like i i footy i wouldn't even say it i wouldn't even say those kind of things like yo your man is hot yo he's a hunk oh in 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 like hey bandla i have respect for people's people like i just have respect and when she said that and i was just like nah man that's not cool that's not cool at all okay first of all we got to my my man's place and when we got there, okay, she was chilling in the balcony with the friend and we were inside the house. So when you are sitting um, on the couches, you can actually see in the balcony and the people in the balcony can also see from inside of the shop. And this girl. <laughs> so obviously my man and I are sitting there and we are going to be all touchy-touchy and stuff, you know. And so every time we tried kissing, she'd come running like she'd come sprinting like she's trying to do something she'd come in between us and stop us from doing whatever it is that we were doing and it was just so weird like and it was also embarrassing because like okay why is she acting like this even the guys were shocked which okay why is she acting like this oh my god it was so embarrassing and this was when she had already started drinking now you know so I was really not ple pleased with that and when we got home I really spoke to her about it I shared my thoughts about it I told her that okay this is how I feel whenever you consume alcohol this is what happens to you and I don't really like that and I'm not attacking you or anything like that which is why I didn't do this as a group discussion or anything like that I'm talking to you one on one you know I texted her on whatsapp and I really thought she understood but hey we spoke about it and i thought she understood what i was saying and she, she said that um she's gonna change um she's gonna work on it she didn't realize that um alcohol is such a problem to her and stuff like that and i thought we were fine and you know she is not fine it means the next day she spoke to her friend and maybe the friend told her would he yeah, we are in Yalona and stuff like that, yeah, well, and because um, she sent me voice notes before she did that. I actually saw a post on Facebook, and you know, if the shoe fits, Cinderella wear it then, and I was Cinderella in that situation. So I took a screenshot and I sent it to her, and I was like, okay, what's going on here? And that's when she just went and she was like who do you think you are telling me that i have an alcohol problem you're not my mother you are not this and she went on and on and on and on i did my best as a friend i did my utmost best i took care of you when i could have just left you and continued having fun i sacrificed me having fun for like taking care of you you know and i stood up for you and i defended you to all those people that spoke smack about you, that, you know, ill spoke about her. Like, I defended her so much. I stood by her. I took care of her. I loved her regardless. She had her faults. I wasn't perfect too. I also had my mistakes. But I stood up for her. Honestly speaking, I stood up for her. And if I was a different, if I was another person, I could have just kept quiet about her alcohol issue and not have spoken about it but i spoke about it because i cared and i wanted what's best for her yeah well so and she went on with that and i really cut ties with her and i blocked her on every social media I blocked her on instagram blocked her on whatsapp blocked her 
on facebook i blocked her everywhere i didn't want anything to do with her anymore yeah well and the fact that she people knew her story and i didn't tell my story because i didn't talk about it at all like at all it's only now that i'm talking it i'm talking about it obviously my husband knows about this but you guys now know about this you won't know the person but people who know me know who it is but it's fine so i cut ties with her like over all and you know what i was really hurt because she did say some really hurtful things she was even she even said like um I'll, i won't last with my man it's gonna be a thing that and you know what you know what god said <laughs> god said god said hold my holy water i'm still with my man we are married we've been together for years we have a beautiful baby boy we have a home together but anyways yeah so we have a family together we are still together but in the midst of that i lost my friend i went through a friendship breakup um i lost someone that i used to talk to on a regular meet up on a regular you know share my deepest darkest secrets with and vice versa so i went through a friendship breakup and it was hard for me i loved her and for the longest time i think i missed her you know i went i think for like maybe two one or two years missing her you know like i really did miss her and so yeah and also it didn't help that we lived in the same hood so i used to see her every now and again and every time i'd bump into her and we would walk past each other like we never like we don't know each other and this is like i lost i lost a friend i lost my best friend a best friend of so many years that okay i grew we grew up in front of each other we grew up together we did a lot of things together you know i actually wondered if i made a good decision with cutting her off and i did make a good decision but also i wondered if i was wrong maybe uh if you mean no be wrong with acrimony but overall i noticed i wasn't wrong i was just coming from uh, 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 like my intentions were good you know but she didn't take them as good she saw them as i don't know something else but i really cared for her and i mean communication is everything and we had to talk about it i couldn't just keep quiet and just let her waste away so i'm glad i we i cut ties with her and we went our separate ways like that i'm glad i wouldn't rekindle it for anything in the world i'm just good i'm good with that friendship i'm right yo i i spoke <laughs> i don't think in my life i've ever spoken so much but anyways um i really do pray that you enjoyed this story time don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you guys enjoyed this please let me know and then maybe i can do more of these story times who knows um so yeah thank you for watching up until this far um i'll see you on my next one uh, bye <laughs>